good morning students of class 5 students i'm sure all of you are fine and in a cheerful mood ready for the english class students today i'm going to continue with lesson 7 of your wordsworth english reader book the nali raman and the horse trader students please take out your wordsworth english reader book and turn to page number 70 please take out your wordsworth english reader book and turn to page number 70 students in my last video i had started with the grammarly exercise transitive and intransitive verbs but as had explained earlier that before understanding transitive and intransitive verb it is important to understand the subject and object in a sentence and if you can identify the subject and object in a sentence then it will be easier for you to understand the transitive and intransitive verbs so i hope all of you remember the two keywords for finding the subject in a sentence and the two keywords for finding the object in the sentence beta agar humko subject identify karna hai kisi bhi sentence mein verb ka subject to hamare keywords kya hai beta who are what wo plus verb plus predicate se hum agar question karenge to whatever answer we get that will be the subject and if we want to find out the object of the verb what we will do we will write the subject plus verb and the two key words for finding objects are what and who to jo bhi question karenge usse answer aayega that will be our object this is what i had explained in my last video and once again i explain sub how to find out subject and object in a sentence please look at the example sonu flux class this is the sentence now we need to find the subject of the sentence and the object so what we'll do for finding the subject we need to remember the two key words सब्जेक्ट फाइंड करने के लिए बेटा द टू की वर्ड्स आर हु एंड व्हाट सो इफ वी राइट अ क्वेश्चन हु प्लक हु प्लक्स प्लस हमने सोनू की जगह क्या लिखा बिकॉज हमारे एज पर द रूल दिस इज द वर्ब एंड दिस इज द प्रेडिकेट तो रूल के हिसाब से हु और वॉट प्लस वर्ब प्लस प्रेडिकेट तो हम वी हैव रिटर्न हु देन दर्ब एंड देन द प्रेडिकेट वी हैव फ्रेम द सेंटेंस हु प्लस प्लस तो आंसर इज सोनू प्लस प्लस तो हु का आंसर क्या मिला सोनू the solo is the subject now to find out the verb the uh, the object of the verb to find out the object of the verb the two key words are what or whom what or whom so the question will be we have to write subject plus verb plus so sonu plus a beta plus ke liye hum whom to nahi use kar sakte to hum kya use karenge what humne question sonu plus what what ka answer kya hai plus so plus is the object Flower is the object. So I hope now 
द सब्जेक्ट एंड ऑब्जेक्ट क्लियर टू यू सब्जेक्ट फाइंड आउट करने के लिए आपको हु और वॉट ये टू की वीज आपको यू नीड टू रिमेंबर एंड टू फाइंड द ऑब्जेक्ट यू नीड टू रिमेंबर द टू की वर्ड वॉट आर हु अगर इससे आप क्वेश्चन लगा के करेंगे तो आपको सब्जेक्ट और ऑब्जेक्ट मिल जाएगा एंड नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन अबाउट ट्रांजेटिव एंड इन ट्रांजेटिव वर्ब्स नाउ स्टूडेंट्स ऑल ऑफ यू नो वर्ब्स वर्ब्स सबको पता है वॉट आर वर्ब्स नाउ वर्ब्स All the action verbs, doing verbs are verbs. Verbs that have an object are called. transitive verbs verbs that have an object are called transitive verb for example let's take an example he takes and ice cream this is a sentence to learn he takes an ice cream in this sentence how to identify the subject and object who takes an ice cream he he is the subject takes is the verb he takes what so an ice cream beta is sentence mein ice an ice cream kya hai aapka object hai और ही क्या है आपका सब्जेक्ट ओके एंड द ट्रांसिटिव वर्ब्स आर दो वर्ब्स दैट हैव एन ऑब्जेक्ट अब यहां पे वर्ब टेक्स क्या है बेटा वर्ब है वर्ब का ऑब्जेक्ट वर्ब इज फॉलोड बाय एन डायरेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट एंड आइसक्रीम टेक्स वर्ब है एंड आइसक्रीम क्या है बेटा ऑब्जेक्ट है तो ये आपका टेक्स क्या हो गया ट्रांसिटिव वर्ब बिकॉज इट इज गॉट एन ऑब्जेक्ट जिस भी वर्ब का डायरेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट है प्रेजेंस ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट इज ट्रांसिटिव वर्ब आई होप दिस इज क्लियर टू यू जिस भी वर्ब सेंटेंस में वर्ब के इमीजिएटली बाद अगर ऑब्जेक्ट होगा दैट इज ट्रांसिटिव वर्ब वर्ब दैट हैव एन ऑब्जेक्ट आर कॉल ट्रांसिटिव वर्ब बेटा वर्ब जिसका विच इज फॉलोड बाय एन डायरेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट वर्क का डायरेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट अगर है ही टेक्स वर्ड ही टेक्स एन आइसक्रीम तो द वर्ब हैज गॉट एन ऑब्जेक्ट सो दिस इज ट्रांसिटिव वर्ब वेर इज इन ट्रांसिटिव वर्ब आई होप दिस इज क्लियर टू यू वेर इज इन ट्रांसिटिव वर्ब दे डू नॉट रिक्वायर एन ऑब्जेक्ट ओके आई एक्सप्लेन इट मोर क्लियरली ट्रांसिटिव वर्ब वेन a verb requires an object to complete its meaning in a sentence it is called a transitive verb ye aapko yaad rakhna jab bhi verb requires an object verb ko object ki zarurat pade meaning apna कंप्लीट करने के लिए तो वर्ब कौन सा होगा बेटा ट्रांसिटिव ही टेक्स अगर ओनली इफ ही टेक्स होता तब कोई ऑब्जेक्ट नहीं होता तब वो ट्रांसिटिव नहीं होता बट यहां पे ही टेक्स फॉलोड बाय डायरेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट ही टेक्स के बाद 
directly and ice cream is there. So this is direct object. So this is, this takes is transitive verb. Presence of object in a sentence after the verb means transitive verb. You need to keep this in mind. Verb ke immediately baad agar object hai, that is transitive verb. I hope transitive verbs are clear to you children. If you want, I can give you one or two more examples of transitive verbs. Another example of transitive verbs. He grew apples. This is a sentence. He is the subject. He is the subject. Grew is the verb. And apples is the object. Now, he grew apples. Beta, grew verb hai. And verb ke immediately baab. Apples hai. That is, this verb needs an object to complete its meaning. So, ye grew kya ho gaya apka? Transitive verb. Another example. Boys play chess. Okay. Boys subject play verb chess object. Boys play what? Boys play chess. Play ke turan baad aapka kya hai? Object hai. To this is again transitive verb. To all verbs which have got object immediately. Object thi verb ke baad ho. Presence of object, transitive verb. And absence of object is not transitive verb. Ye aapko dimaag mein bethana hai. Agar verb ke baad directly object hai. To wo beta kaun sa hoga? Transitive verb. Fine. I hope transitive verbs are clear to you. Now I will explain intransitive verb. A word that does not require an object to complete its meaning is called an in transitive verb examples Pinky slept soundly examples apples Boys play in the park. Now, all of you try to understand. Wait, the sentence is not clear. I'll write it over here. Apples grew. Third, boys play in the park. Okay, 
स्टूडेंट्स अब दैट डज नॉट रिक्वायर एन ऑब्जेक्ट टू कंप्लीट इट्स मीनिंग इज कॉल्ड एन इंट्रांसिटिव वर्ब बेटा जिस भी सेंटेंस में वर्ब को ऑब्जेक्ट नहीं होता है मीनिंग कंप्लीट करने की देर इज एब्सेंस ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट सच वर्ब्स आर कॉल्ड इंट्रांसिटिव वर्ब्स नाउ हाउ टू आइडेंटिफाई द ऑब्जेक्ट व्हाट डिड आई से बेटा टू की वर्ड्स हमको ऑब्जेक्ट फाइंड आउट करने के लिए रखना है व्हाट एंड हु है ना सो पिंकी स्लैप व्हाट साउंडली इज नॉट एन ऑब्जेक्ट क्योंकि व्हाट और हुम दोनों का आंसर नहीं मिलता है पिंकी स्लैप्ट हु We don't get the answer. Pinky slept what? Soundly is not a noun. So Pinky slept soundly. Soundly noun नहीं है. So there is no object after the verb slept. So this is intransitive verb. Presence of object is transitive verb and absence of object is intransitive verb. So slept के बाद soundly है. Soundly तो object नहीं है. So this is intransitive verb. Now apples grew. Second sentence is apples grew. Grew के बाद तो कोई object है ही नहीं. तो आगे ये intransitive verb. Now apple grew यहीं पे उसके बाद कुछ नहीं है. There is no object. So again intransitive verb. And the third sentence, boys play in the park. Boys subject है, play verb है. Verb के बाद object तो नहीं है. Boys play where? Where से we don't get in the park is there. But हमारे two key words कौन से हैं? What and who? So in in the preposition है. तो आप play verb के बाद अगर preposition आ रहा है और ये the park तो इनके बाद है. Directly it is not followed by the object. So again this is intransitive verb. Directly अगर verb के बाद object नहीं है तो वो बेटा क्या होगा? Intransitive verb absence of object that is intransitive verb and presence of object that is transitive verb बस इसको ऐसे formula याद में रखो अगर sentence में verb के immediately बाद object है तो वो verb is followed by object directly तो that is transitive verb and if the verb is not followed by an object directly that is intransitive verb Boys play in the park. तो आप confuse मत होना कि in the park है, the park object है. Directly नहीं है. In है बीच में. So this is not transitive. This is intransitive verb. I hope this is clear to you. Now let's see what the rule in your book says. Read the following sentences. The boy kicks the ball. Now, the boy, the sentence is the boy kicks the ball. This is the sentence. Now, who kicks the boy? The boy. This is the subject. That subject called doer of the action who performs the action. Kicks kya hai beta? Kicks is the action. Action मतलब verb. What is verb? Whatever action we do. If we are sleeping, that is also an action. So that is verb. The ball. What is the ball? The boy kicks what? The ball. Answer मिल रहा है what का? So this is the object. So the boy kicks the ball. Kicks. आपका verb है. That is the action and the ball is the object. So, which verb is it? Object is there. Presence of object means transitive verb. Kicks kya hai beta? Transitive verb because it has got a direct object. Kicks ke immediately baad the ball hai. It is followed by the object. So, this is transitive verb. Agar khali sentence hota hai, the boy kicks. Or kuch nahi hota. Tab kya ho jata beta? Intransitive verb. Fine. अब सेकेंड एग्जाम्पल है आपका ही स्विम्स ही इज दी सब्जेक्ट स्विम्स इज दी वर्ब उसके बाद कुछ नहीं है तो कौन सा हुआ बेटा इंट्रांसिटिव 
verb. This is transitive. This is intransitive. So, yeah, you need to remember that the verb is followed by an object. It is transitive. Absence of object after the verb that is intransitive. I hope transitive and intransitive verbs are clear to you now. Bas itna saap yaad rakho. Presence of object, transitive. Absence of object, intransitive. And remember, direct the object should be followed by the verb. Don't get confused. Now, let's start with the exercise. That is, identify exercise A. Identify the verbs in the following sentences. And write whether they are transitive. Or intransitive. I hope all of you have turned to page number 70. Please write the date on top. Right now please solve this exercise in the book. And later on please do this in your notebook. Now the first sentence is. She was She was crying. Now, we need to identify the verbs in the following sentences. Beta, this is the sentence. She was crying. Is we have verb identify karna hai and then tell whether this is intransitive or an intransitive verb. So she is the subject. Was crying is the verb. Was crying is the verb. So please underline was crying and does was crying have an object after it? No. So this is, this is was crying is intransitive verb. There is no object. So this will be intransitive verb. Absence of object. That means intransitive verb. Absence of object means intransitive verb. She was crying. Who was crying? She. She is the subject. Was crying is the verb. But there is no object. So this is intransitive verb. She was crying. This is intransitive verb. Why it is intransitive verb? Because this verb is not followed by an object. So this is intransitive verb. I hope all of you have written. Now the second one. We showed her the new house. The sentences we showed her the new house. We is the subject. Showed. Showed is the verb. We showed her the new house. Now we showed her. This is her is the indirect object and the new house is the direct object. We showed whom. Whom ka answer kya aega? Her. What? The new house. So, her is the indirect object and the new house is the direct object. 
सो हर क्या है बेटा इनडायरेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट एंड द न्यू हाउस इज द डायरेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट वी शोड हु हर व्हाट डिड वी शो द न्यू हाउस सो दिस इज ट्रांजिटिव वर्ब शोड इज व्हाट ट्रांजिटिव वर्ब we showed her the new house so her the new house this is object this is her is indirect object the new house is direct object so showed is transitive verb got it we showed her her indirect object is the new house direct object is. so this is transitive verb i hope all of you have written these two sentences Now can I raise and start with the third sentence? The third sentence is, she laughed loudly. She laughed loudly. She, she is the subject. Laughed. Laugh. Laugh is the word. Loudly is loudly an object. She laughed. What? Are we getting the answer? No. She laughed. Who? Are we getting the answer? So loudly is not an object. So this is intransitive verb. There is no object. Loudly is the manner. This is the adverb which shows how the loudly beta adverb is. ये एक्शन का मैनर बता रहा है कि हाउ डिड शी लव शी लव लवली बट दिस इज नॉट एन ऑब्जेक्ट दिस इज एन एट वर्क इट इज अबाउट दी वर्ल्ड बट नॉट अ नाउ सो दिस इज इन ट्रांसिटिव वर्ब लव क्या हो गया बेटा इन ट्रांसिटिव वर्ब शी लव लवली शी लाफ हमें वॉट ऑफ होम दोनों का आंसर नहीं मिल रहा है बल्कि हाउ का आंसर मिल रहा है दैट शोज की एक्शन कैसे हुआ लाफ शी लाफ लाउडली लाउडली इज शोइंग इट इज टेलिंग एस अबाउट दी वर्ल्ड बट दिस इज नॉट एन ऑब्जेक्ट सो एबसेंस ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट दैट इज इन ट्रांसिटिव वर्क शी लाफ लाउडली ये ऑब्जेक्ट नहीं है लाउडली बट की मैनर बता रहा है कि हाउ डिड शी लाफ This is an adverb, so this is intransitive verb. I hope all of you have written. Now the fourth one. We clean our room every day. Now. We subject clean verb our room. Our room is the object. We clean what? We are getting the answer. Our room. If you ask the question, we clean what? Our room. We clean what? We clean our room. So our room is the object. So the presence of object means that clean is what? Transitive verb. जिसमें भी बेटा डायरेक्ट ऑब्जेक्ट है वर्ब के बाद वो क्या है ट्रांसिटिव वर्ब एंड एब्सेंस ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट इज इन ट्रांसिटिव प्रेजेंस ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट इज ट्रांसिटिव सो क्लीन के डायरेक्टली बाद है आर रूम आर रूम इज देयर सो दिस इज दी ऑब्जेक्ट वी क्लीन व्हाट वी क्लीन आर रूम सो वी क्लीन आर रूम एवरी डे सो क्लीन के बाद ऑब्जेक्ट क्या है बेटा आर रूम सो दिस इज ट्रांसिटिव Work. I hope all of you have written in the book. We clean our room every day. Your clean is transitive. Why transitive? Because there is object after the verb. Now I'll erase both the sentences, and then I will start with the fifth one. She slept. Soundly, she slept 
soundly. She subject slept is what? The verb soundly. She slept how? Soundly. This is adverb. No object is there. So this is intransitive verb. There is no object after slept. So ye beta kya ho gaya? Intransitive verb. Slept kya ho gaya beta? Intransitive verb. Because this does not have an object after the verb. So this is intransitive verb. Because soundly tells us the manner in which she slept. How did she slept? The answer is soundly. But we don't get the answer of what or whom. So this is intransitive verb. She slept soundly. Slept is intransitive verb because it does not have an object after it. Fine. Now the sixth one. He swims. He is the subject. Swim is the verb. So we need to underline the verb because let's say that identify the verb. So we are underlining all the verbs. And there is no object after it. So again, swim kya ho gaya bitta aapka? Intransitive verb. There is no object after swim. So this is intransitive verb. Swim is the verb. No object after it. Intransitive verb. And remember, absence of object is intransitive verb. Presence of object, transitive. Absence of object, intransitive. There is no object after swim. So this is intransitive verb. I hope all of you have written. Now the seventh one. Sorry, this, uh, the seventh one. They eat fruit every day. This is the sentence. They subject eat what? Fruit. Object is there. They eat what? They eat fruit. Object is there. So, this is transitive verb. We are getting the answer. They eat what? They eat fruit. So, fruit. eat is what? Transitive verb. Why it is transitive verb? Because it is directly followed by the object fruit. Eat ke thik baad. Kya hai bita? Object. What is the object? Fruit. So, presence of object after the verb. That is Transitive verb. Verb ke turan baad beta agar object hai. That is transitive verb. Remember presence of object. Transitive verb. Now the eighth one. We play cricket. Beta we kya hai? We is the subject. Play is the verb. We play what? We play cricket. Object is there after the verb. So this is transitive verb. Cricket object. So presence of object means transitive verb. And absence of object means intransitive verb. So here we care with a subject. Play is the verb. Cricket. Play ke turan baad. We play what? We play Cricket. We play what? We play cricket. Object is there. So presence of object means transitive verb. I hope students, transitive and intransitive verbs are clear to you. Please write this exercise in your English notebook. That's all for today. Thank you students. Have a good day.